Arizona shrimp. <laughs> Those are not two words you usually think go together, but turns out they do. And we are about to meet a couple raising shrimp in Gila Bend. Jamie just had to see this as she shows the love to Arizona desert shrimp. All right, Craig, cast the net. We are with Arizona desert shrimp. Guess what? We were hanging out in Gila Bend. Uh, you know they had a lot of flooding recently. This place raises shrimp. So we're talking about 18,000 pounds of shrimp inside this pond right here. They've got 18 of these. I want to introduce you to Maurice and Victoria. First of all, how are you guys doing after the Gila Bend flooding that happened here? Uh, we didn't have any issues on the farm. We had issues just south of here yeah. and there was a serious flooding down there. Okay, so I heard on your first date, what'd you make for dinner? Shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi. Little did I know he'd never had shrimp before. So oh, that you would be raising shrimp down <laughs> the line. So how did this happen? Because you kind of got bitten by the little shrimp bug. I got interested in a business opportunity and exploited it. And that's uh, and then went forward from that point of view. When we want to talk about um, our shrimp and where we're getting it from, it's really interesting to be raising it here in Gila Bend. And you have been a, a specialist when it comes to studying E. coli, Listeria. So this is going to be the cleanest shrimp we can get. These shrimp are, do not have any human pathogens whatsoever. Yeah. They're they're clean. Yeah. And a lot of imported shrimp come from. Um, sources offshore that are not necessarily clean. Oh, they're jumpers as well. Victoria, I know you are a teacher by trade in Tucson. Awareness and sustainability, uh, kind of your pet projects here. Uh, when they take shrimp up from the ocean, does that harm the ocean floor? That's a good question. And a lot of people ask, what is the difference between our shrimp and shrimp that is ocean caught? Because it sounds to a lot of people that's the better shrimp. But Ocean caught shrimp is trawled, I guess the word is. Yeah. Uh, it's the shrimp trawlers that go out and there's drag nets. And those drag nets pick up everything, not just shrimp. Mm -hmm. So typically, uh, one net will, there's something like 30 pounds of bycatch or junk fish for every one pound of shrimp that they want. That's a lot of waste and it's everything from sharks, turtles, dolphin, you name it. So it, that's not a clean way to do it. And that's not happening here. <laughs> you know, when you pulled some of the shrimp up, these are big shrimp, Craig. How big have you seen? How big will these get? These will get up to about uh, 28 grams, yeah. which is a 21, 25 count that we can get them up to as high as 40 grams, which is uh, a at least a 16, 20 gram shrimp. And you told me when you come out here and feed the shrimp at night, what is it like? It's like a, uh, a crowd in a uh, football <laughs> environment that does the big wave oh. because we, we create a wave of shrimp jumping out of the water oh all the way down the length of the pond. Oh, they're so excited. They know uh, uh, you're here to feed them and it's dinner time. So what's for dinner tonight, guys? Shrimp. Shrimp, of course. <laughs> and I got to tell you, you know what? Gila Bend has a shrimp festival that is coming up. When is that? November 6th. November 6th. What can we expect there, Victoria? There's going to be vendors. There's going to be music. There's going to be a lot of shrimp. You yeah. can buy shrimp there. You can buy it from us. Yeah. So bring your ice chest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring your ice chest. Arizona Desert Shrimp. You want to buy local. I know you love your shrimp. I love coconut shrimp. You can buy local shrimp from Gila Bend. We have all the information on azfamily.com. We are showing the love on this Thursday.